So here's the follow-up procedure for staining the paper chromatography of the sugars that we've been running. The first thing we, we need are two baths. The first bath had some silver nitrate dissolved in acetone and the second bath was some sodium hydroxide. Here we have a paper that's just been run so that the sugars have been drawn up through the paper through the capillary action of that solvent mix and we're just drying off the solvents so that we can stain the sugars. At this part, uh, at this point in time, it looks like a, a plain blank piece of paper. Okay, so the first thing we're doing here is dipping the paper into the silver nitrate and then drying off the acetone solvent. Once the paper's dry, it's then dipped into the sodium hydroxide for visualization. And you'll see the spots appear as soon as it's dipped into the sodium hydroxide. There you go. So for each spotted solution, there's typically a spot above there as it's been running up towards the top of the paper. So you just need to dry off the solvent again, and then we can um, start to analyze the data. So once the spots have developed and the paper has been dried, you can then do the analysis of the spots. From the point where you loaded the sample to the center of the spot is one measurement, and from the point where you loaded to the solvent front is the second measurement. And then you simply divide the distance the spot has moved by the distance the solvent front has moved, and that will give you a fraction between one and zero. One meaning it's at the solvent front, zero meaning it's on the spot where it was loaded. Typically you'll have a, a fractional value. And that's it.